Here we're going to be looking at computer software as an intangible asset where it applies to the development of computer software that is to be sold, leased, or otherwise marketed to third parties or outside parties. And we're going to be looking at accounting and reporting where it applies only again to the software developed for external purposes here. Now computer software created for external sales or sales here to third parties. You'd expense the cost as incurred in creating the product as research and development expense up until it's established that the software is technologically feasible. is That is, you have a design and have a working model here on this software. Then any cost after that here, well, we'd capitalize future costs incurred on this software. So after uh, we've uh, to come up with our working model here, we would have expensed all those costs up until that point, and then we'd capitalize any remaining costs after we had this working model here. Now, technologically, feasibility is established when the detailed software program design or working model is complete here. Okay, so we capitalize the software costs at one here, either the lower of the unamortized cost, or that's the a book value here we had established on this software here, or the net realizable value, whatever the lower amount is between those, the net realizable value or the unamortized cost. Now, if the net realizable value is lower, then you would write down this value here uh, once, and once it's written down, it may not be written back up here. But if you come up with that net realizable value lower than your unamortized cost then you and if you had the unamortized cost on your book here then you would have to write it down here to the net realizable value okay let's look at our example here uh, computer software costs here and revenues here uh, so during 20x1 a software corporation here spent 10 million dollars to develop its new let's just say X soft software package of this amount here five million two hundred thousand was spent before technologically feasibility here was established for the product and it will be marketed to outside parties. The package uh, was completed here on 1231 20x1 here. So the software was completed at that date here. And at that time we had an expected useful life here of eight years and a total expected revenues on this software here was estimated at $32 million. And then for 20x2, which we're going to be looking at here, uh, the revenues during that a year here was six million four hundred thousand dollars. So the difference between our total expected revenues and the revenues for 20x2 would be the additional future revenues on this software at twenty five million six hundred thousand dollars. Okay now for our development costs here. Our total costs we had developed this software was $10 million. Before technologically feasibility here was established on this software, we had spent $5,200,000. And that would go down as R&D expense here on our income statement. So that's our expense portion here of the $10 million. So the remaining amount here uh, would be after the technological feasibility here was established. That is simply the difference between total costs here, uh, less the uh, our expense amount here of five million two hundred thousand gives us a total capitalized amount here of four million eight hundred thousand dollars that would be capitalizing here for this software. Now we have to calculate the amortization each year here for this software and what we would do is we've got really two methods that we'd be using here. We got the percent of revenue approach here or the straight line approach and we got to really calculate this uh, amortization using both of these, these approaches here and what we're going to do is we're going to take the greater amount between what we calculate for each of these different methods here. So uh, for our percent of revenue approach, let's look at that first here. We just take the current revenue here plus really the total revenue that we're looking here on this software. It would be the current amount of revenue plus any future revenues after that. So we come up with that amount here. Then we take it uh, times or that portion, that division here we come up and then we take it times the capitalized cost here. In this case the capitalized cost was four million eight hundred thousand dollars. And that's going to eat the equal our amortization here for the period here for uh, in this for each of these approaches here. So let's look at this percent of revenue first here for 20 year 20x2. So we had a uh, total revenue or for the period here for the year 20x2 we had revenues of six million four hundred thousand dollars. So we divide that 
uh, we take the total revenues and we divide it into 6,400,000. So our total revenues here was the, for the current period was 6,400,000 plus. Uh, the remaining amount here of future revenue is 25,600,000, which is essentially equal to $32 million. So divide $32 million into the uh, current period here, 6,400,000. 400,000 and you're going to come up with 20% here. So now for the capitalized, uh, we take the capitalized cost here $4,800,000 times our percentage here at 20% here for the percent of revenue approach and that's going to give us an amortized amount here of $960,000. Now we have to compare this uh, amortized amount here with using the straight line approach and that's simply uh, taking our straight line approach here or take our capitalized cost here and divide it by the economic life or the useful life again times our capitalized cost and that's going to give our amortization for the period here so again for our straight line approach simply take it this way so we got um, eight year life here well that would be divided into uh, so we got one eighth here per year here twelve and a half percent here per year here that we're we're going to take for our capitalized cost here or divided by the economic life so let's just say here we had the um, we divided that here to be tw determine that to be twelve and a half percent times four million eight hundred thousand dollar capitalized costs so we're going to come up with six hundred thousand dollars or we can look at it in this fashion probably a little easier here just take our total um, capitalized cost here four million eight hundred thousand dollars divided by an eight-year life and we're going to come up with six hundred thousand dollars so this is the amortization here for the uh, for this year 20x2 so we compare that with the uh, percent of revenue approach here of nine hundred sixty thousand dollars versus our straight line approach here of six hundred thousand dollars and we take the greater amount between those two so you can see it here percent of revenue approach was the greater amount so that's the amount we'd be amortizing for the year here nine hundred and sixty thousand dollars now remember we have to compare these both use these approach both these approaches each year here to the straight line versus the percent of revenue and we taste take their greater amount each year here and we use these formulas that we looked at here so let's look at how we'd record this now here so first looking on our balance sheet here starting with our cash our count here our research and development uh, expense here that we'd have so uh, what we'd have here again and when we're going to divide that up here between our expense amount that we're uh, for research and development and the capitalized amount so our total amount that we're going to have spent here was that 10 million dollars but uh, before technologic uh, technological feasibility was determined we spent that five million two hundred thousand dollars so we credit our cash here for five million two hundred thousand dollars and then uh, recognize it as res R and D or research and development expense for this sauce for development here on our income statement, we debit that here for five million two hundred thousand dollars. Now that was our expense here again before technological feasibility was established. Now after we established our technological the, the technological feasibility, then this is the amount that we capitalized here for this computer software, and that was four million eight hundred thousand dollars. Again, and we had completed that by twenty x one here, so we would have credited or reduced our cash account here for for that amount here of four million eight hundred thousand dollars and then we would have had debited our computer software capitalized our computer software as a capitalized cost here four million eight hundred thousand dollars again in 20x1 now comes along 20x2 and this is where we uh, recognize our accumulated amortization here on this software now remember that's a contract account here to this software capitalized amount here and again on our balance sheet here so our accumulated amortization here for the period here we would have credited that here for nine hundred and sixty thousand dollars now remember that uh, was that amortization we calculated here and this was using the percent of revenue approach here because that was the greater amount for the straight line amount we had six hundred thousand but for the percent of revenue approach we come up with nine hundred and sixty thousand for the year so we would accredit our accumulated amortization for that amount and then over on our income statement here we would have recognized uh, again for that amortization of software expense here 900 debit that here on our income statement for nine hundred and sixty thousand dollars so and then again for this capitalized amount here for this computer software you use the lower of the unamortized cost or the net realizable value well we just use the unamortized co a cost here that we had allocated of, of four million eight hundred thousand dollars but if you would had 
uh, for whatever reason your realizable value would have been lower, then you would have put that in here. Now, and again, this is after this is the capitalized amount after technological feasibility here was was established, and that was we had completed this software in 1231 20x1. So that's the amount that we capital, capitalized here. Okay, so this just goes through an example here where we would looking at computer software that was developed for to, sales to be outside the company here, not to be uh, used just only internally here, but it's for outside sales. So this is how you would have to record your entries here. And just remember, uh, let's go back over here one more time here. Just remember, for your amortization each year here, you have to look at the pre percent of revenue approach, which we went through here for our formula, and we have to also uh, compare. We have to compare it with the straight line approach here. So each each method you have to use here to determine what your amortization for the period would be, and then you would take the greater amount between those two here. So that's about. What we're going to look, what we looked at here now for uh, these were the key points here in this percent of revenue here in this straight line approach. And then one more other thing here. Just remember uh, the other key item here was uh, development cost. We had to divide divide that up here. The total cost that we'd have, we have to divide it up here. The amount before technological feasibility was established, and then we have to take the amount after technological feasibility. So the before amount here gets uh, expenses, R&D expense here, and the after uh, after technological feasibility gets capitalized here on our balance sheet for this for this software here. So that's that's just a summary here on how we take care of this um, computer software here that's sold for outside uh, sold to outside or third parties.